welcome to our Sunday service on the first Sunday in the new year. Um, we hope that you, you are okay where you are. It feels quite difficult to say Happy New Year. We know it's a hopeful new year and we hope that it will get happier as time goes on. However, we are in quite a difficult and dark time with the pandemic at the moment and the churches for now are going to be closed for gathered worship but open for private prayer. So if you'd like to come uh, today, Sunday at 10 to St Michael's or 10.30 to 12.30 at St Nicholas, we'll be praying and prayer matters so very, very much at the moment. So please come if it's safe for you to do so. We are with the story of the wise men who came to visit Jesus and thinking about their gifts and um, various things about that story that have meaning in our lives today. So let's begin with a prayer that catches some of that meaning. O oh God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, Mercifully grant that we, who know you now by faith, may at last behold your glory face to face through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you, Almighty God, God to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let our, us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Most, Most merciful God, God Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Gospel reading comes from Matthew's account of the wise men, the Magi, visiting the Messiah. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked, then where was the Messiah to be born? In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, 
They went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. So we have our three wise men here that we've taken from our nativity set. And here they have gold, marking the kingship of Christ. Frankincense, his priestliness, holiness, and myrrh, death and sacrifice, each symbolic. And of course the life of Christ was to, to realise and reenact what those gifts were saying to begin with. But I think there's a couple of things from this well-known and well-loved story. They, they come and they say, where is the king of the Jews? As they ask Herod. They already have a sense of what it is that they are finding and pursuing. The king of kings, the Christ child that has come to earth. And they also stop where the star settles over the Bethlehem. And there's that glorious passage of them coming with their gifts and worshipping the child Jesus. And I love that idea of us stopping as we meet with Jesus. And maybe early on in this year, it's a, it's a good way, a good discipline of thinking about, are we going to stop and consider Jesus in the midst of us and what he's doing and what he is saying? And of course the gifts, the gifts are so symbolic. Now, funnily enough, as we were talking about this, I realised I've been given a gift, a hundred movies, a scratch off bucket list, and I have no idea who sent this. So if any of you out there sent this to me, um, I'm really sorry I haven't thanked you for it, but do tell me. Um, but if no one knows who sent this, and you would love it, I'd love to gift you this. Although I'd quite like it myself as well. But there we are, it's just one of those things. But there are three gifts here. And what might it be that we need to receive from God, to be gifted by God this year? And I'd encourage you, I'd challenge you and myself to list three things that we need to receive from God this year that will make us more truly disciples of Jesus and followers of him in what we say and what we do and what we think. And let's turn that round as well. What might it be for us to gift three things to God this year? How might we serve him in practical actions, in loving kindness, in gifts, whatever it might be? And maybe to make a list of those three things that you are going to begin to gift the church, the community, the world and others with just as these wise men gifted Christ. So three things that we need to receive from God to help us and encourage us in our walk. And three things that we can bless others with. What might those be? And as we come to the end of 2021 and we look back, we can look back with just the thrill of being involved in that, that glorious and wonderful aspect of being a follower of Jesus, the surprising blessings that come. We'd love to hear your stories. We've got 363 days to go this year. There's plenty of time. But let's begin that journey and where we find Jesus to stop in his presence and to worship in wonder and in awe. Amen. God of wonder and of light, 
by the guiding of a star, the wise men came to worship your Son. May your church be a beacon to draw all people to stop in your presence. Give grace to all who share your name to proclaim your praise. God of power and might, news of your Christ child's birth filled Herod with fear. Transform the hearts of all in political office to serve your kingdom with joy. With the offering of gold, we place before you all our power and our aspirations. Amen. God of mystery and wisdom, in your Son you made known the purpose of your love. Bless our homes and those with whom we share joy and laughter, pains and sorrows. United in a common humanity, may we come to share the promises of Christ. God of healing and restoration, with myrrh we seek your anointing presence on all who suffer. May our hearts thrill and rejoice in you and your healing power. Amen. God of glory, your radiance fills the heavens and our prayers rise to you like incense. Hear us as we lay before you those who have died in faith and fear. May we all come to see the dawning light of your rising glory. Amen.
come to share the piece together, there are some words that I'm going to use in the communion prayers today that are words that are particular for Epiphany and you, you might not be familiar with, um, with that liturgy. However, everything that you join in with is uh, the same words that you're used to saying. And wherever you are, we really hope that the peace of Christ is with you in your home. And we are going to affirm that today together and share it here, knowing that it will reach you as well. So Christ is our peace. By the one Spirit, we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's share it. Peace with you. Peace with you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right and good to give praise to your name, Almighty God. You will us into being. You love us into faith. You inspire us to live out our calling as followers of Jesus Christ. Creating, redeeming and sustaining God, we praise your name and join the heavenly host together with your people here on earth, saying together, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. God of wisdom, with gratitude and love, we remember your mighty acts. You created a world that was good. You gave us this earth to enjoy. You trusted us to share with you in caring for it. And when we sinned, you still did not abandon us, but made covenant with our ancestors. You called your people to yourself, led them from slavery to freedom, gave them the law to obey, prophetic teaching to follow, and songs of hope to sing. Then, God of unending grace, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, born of a woman, to be the glory of your people Israel, a light to shine in the darkness. To this light, came travellers from the east, those already wise seeking higher wisdom, finding greater wisdom in a young child than they had ever known. They offered their precious gifts. This child of Mary and Joseph was indeed the Son of God, the one who revealed your glory, transforming sin to goodness, disease to health, despair to hope, sorrow to joy, and death to life. Yet he too knew sorrow and death, bearing upon himself the sin of the world at Calvary, betrayed, deserted, crucified, and on the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread and broke it, shared it with his companions and said, Take, eat, this is my body, broken for you. Take, eat, do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he took the cup and blessed it and said, Drink this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. God of wisdom and light, send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this bread and wine. As we come together to eat at your table, we offer ourselves to you in praise and thanksgiving for your mighty acts. And we join together now in the words of the prayer that Jesus taught us. 
our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation, and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him, and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. Now is the time to share some bread if you're uh, with other people at home or to eat some bread there by yourself but knowing that you're one with us. Body of Christ that was broken for you, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Body of Christ broken for you, keep you in eternal life. that was shed for you, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The blood of Christ poured out for you, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Giver of life. Let your light shine upon us. May your grace be in our midst. May your wisdom be our guide. Here, may the meeting of Christ with each one of us strengthen our faith, enrich our witness, and bring us closer to the light of Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Father, Father of all, we, we give, give you thanks and, and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope that you have set before us so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you forevermore. Amen. We pray for wisdom to be yours as this next week unfolds, for you to be gifted with whatever God knows you need, and for you to be enabled to open your own heart of generosity that you might give what you have, what you're able back to him in some way. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.